Hello everyone and welcome to another YouTube video. Um, my name is Aurora Phoenix and I'm a professional model and makeup artist. For today's video we're going to be talking about remote shooting, which is quite cool. So yeah, what happens is I connect my camera to the computer with a tethering cable and I load up the software Canon Utilities. In the past I've used Digicam controls, um, however that was a bit laggy at times so I've just recently switched to Canon Utilities. Um, so that happens and that kind of logs in the camera, it recognises the camera when I plug it in and that's all fantastic. So once that's all set up I click live view to make sure like in the video you can kind of see me um, moving um, as I pose. So the photographers can still see me in HD kind of moving like posing and stuff um, on these sort of shoots which is really really cool. Um, and they will hit their mouse or spacebar to take the picture. Um, but before that um, I launch zoom and I give remote control access so they can control my screen. So yeah, it's quite confusing. So the software is controlling my camera and the zoom and the screen sharing tools control my screen. So they don't need to download any software, which is really, really cool. I have all the software, I have everything set up um, and all they need to do is give them remote control access and give a brief kind of explanation at the start of the shoot if they haven't done a remote shoot before on how to use the software and stuff like that, which is really pretty cool. So yeah, so that is kind of pretty much how it all works and stuff like that. And then for these sort of shoots, I am moving lighting and backdrops and stuff like that. Like on a regular shoot, when a photographer books a model, they can kind of do the lighting and they can kind of look at the shots from the back of the camera and stuff like that. These shoots are very, very different. Like it is quite dependent on the model when it comes to lighting and backdrops and stuff. Um, also, to get the shots, I am always constantly moving my tripod, clicking it up and down and stuff. So my hands sometimes hurt at times and yeah, stuff like that. So that is just something to bear in mind um, if you kind of like to control the lighting and stuff. Um, however, like if a photographer wants me to move my light back or forwards because I just use continuous light, I will do that. Um, obviously, if some people have some kind of flash guns and stuff, like you can get the model can be like, oh, could you turn that light down kind of thing. So the software doesn't really control the lighting. That's something that the model needs to do. Um, and a lot of people have assistants for these sort of shoots who kind of do the backdrops and the models focus on modelling. However, for all of my remote shoots of the past year, I've done everything <laughs> from doing backdrops and lighting. I'm kind of a one-man show, so I've just done it all by myself, kind of just like running around like a headless chicken, posing, <laughs> moving, and then moving the lights and moving the tripod and stuff. So yeah, that is pretty much how it all works. yeah today's video is kind of a little demo um, kind of just introducing you guys to these sort of shoots and um, I've taken kind of a quick screen record um, for one of my shoots so you can kind of see how it all works which is pretty cool. Um, so I've been remote shooting for a year now, I've been modelling for four years in total so um, yeah I just started remote shooting because of the pandemic um, basically and you know you couldn't really um, be in contact with others, be in the same room as others, so it was a great way to still kind of utilise my home studio and I had photographers shoot with me from all over the world from just the comfort of their own homes. So it was pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, if you were ready, you can go ahead and watch the clip, which is coming right now. You are just flowing through these poses. I yeah. love it. So um, in that clip you've just watched, I've kind of got um, all the different software and settings and with Canon Utilities, you can um, take a picture by pressing the capture button. This video is in autofocus, but when you kind of go to manual, you can unlock loads of different menus um, and they do have quite a lot of control. They can control the ISO, the shutter speed. So yeah, you can still get some like really good um, pictures from these sort of shoots um, as well. Um, and it's just really nice. Like I've really enjoyed them. I've been doing them for over a year and it's just good fun to still be able to model um, during the pandemic. 
So yeah, um, if you guys have any questions about remote shoots, I might probably make another more in-depth video. Um, but another thing is how I send um, the files to the photographers is I just do a Dropbox link. So when I'm doing the shoot, um, all of the images fire to my laptop um, and then I um, make them, it makes a folder, <laughs> automatically makes a folder and then I kind of just send it over Dropbox. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I really like these sort of shoots and they're still pretty social because the photographer has a microphone and can sometimes put their video camera on. Um, in this kind of sample, the photographer's chosen to switch off their video camera. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so yeah, um, that is pretty much everything so far about remote shooting. And I hope you guys like this video and um, yeah, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. <laughs>